that. Today we're going to have a look at this pen, and this is <laughs> sorry, this is a Faber Castell pen, the Hexo, and it's called Hexo because it has a six-sided profile. You see the facets. I'll show you that better when I point the camera down. This pen was uh, lent to me by Joost Applebaum, Don Giovanni, or Don, I guess it would be Don Giuseppe. Giuseppe. Eh? Eh. Um, and uh, this pen has some really cool things going for it. First of all, I requested a couple of pens from Joost to review that are in a relatively affordable range of price. Now, I know that affordable is a, is a, a broad term, but in this case, it's 28 euros, 51 cents without the European VAT. And remember that you can then also get 10% discount at Applebaum if you click the banner on my website. So check that out too, sbrebrown.com. Then it nearly fell. <laughs> it wasn't funny. Um, and then it will be even cheaper. Now, I think this pen has some cool things going for it. It's a nice pen, metallic feel to it. Six-sided, which is nice, makes it stand out a bit from the million round pens that we have. Uh, it's pretty affordable, it's quite light, it's a Faber-Castell, it's a nice writer, that's what they do. Uh, so I'm going to cover the parts of the pen, tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and then... I have already done a writing sample. I still refer to the old saying. I'll cover the parts of the pen, tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and they'll do a writing sample. But now I'll do a writing sample before I tell you what I like about it, don't like about it. Anyway, mm, let's continue. You should really, I got this, uh, sorry, I follow a, a British puppeteer uh, on Instagram and he has a puppet that does that, mm, this. And I have found that if you want to really confuse people, like really confuse people in a conversation, you should do that. So I've kind of taken to that. You, you just talking to someone, you know, I think maybe later I should go out Go for a nice walk, you know, mm, and then see what happens. See how people react. Anyway, pass the pen. All right, let's talk about this Faber Castell Hexo. It's 28 euros, 51 cents without VAT. Mine has a fine nib, but they come in extra fine, fine, medium, broad, or steel nibs. Um, it is a hexagonal pen with rounded off edges and a translucent section, which is quite nice. It posts very securely, I'll show you that. Um, it has a very cool mechanism in the cap to align the facets, which I really love. And Faber-Castell describes it as the new tool that lets ideas grow. Okay, it comes in this box, outer sleeve with a nice picture on it. Uh, then we have this inner box, we have a little instruction manual, which is nice. You have an additional um, cartridge, and uh, this is the sleeve on it that says that it's a medium nib. Okay, I will zoom in a bit to show you the pen up close more. This is the pen next to a Pilot Metropolitan, so it's a little shorter, but it's definitely girthier. Um, on top, the finial, we have the jousting, that is the Faber-Castell logo, very neat. We have a very stiff clip, and we have a sticker here, fine nib, um, and you can see the, oh, I'm sorry, I hope that was in view, uh, you can see the facets, which is quite nice. Now, these facets, you see the pen tapers down, in my mind, in a very elegant fashion. Um, there is this sort of thing on the inside of the cap, you see that? On the inner cap you have this, and that means that aligns to grooves right there, and that, or ridges I should say, and that means that you simply cannot cap this pen unless the facets line up. So for those of you who care about that, that's a very cool touch. You can see maybe the translucent section, I can definitely see the feed in there. Stainless steel nib with the jousting on it and those little dots, which I always think are quite cute, Faber Castell does. A plastic feed, and then inside we have the other cartridge that came with the pen. And there's a solid click when you screw that barrel in. It posts securely, which makes for a very nice pen. It's very light. Uh, so do do be prepared for that. I'm getting the feeling it's some sort of metallic cover over plastic. Very, very light. So 
Don't expect it to be a heavy pen, but it is a comfortable pen. The section tapers down, flares out a little bit. Um, I don't really feel any facets in that, um, but it is very comfortable to hold, I find. Okay, let's see how this pen writes. We have here disgusting F. I thought I would do something fancy. It looks horrid. Faber Castell. Hexo. Fine. Faber Castell Blue. Because that's the cartridge that came with it. Now, this is a fine nib. This is very smooth. Rhodia paper, although I'm writing on the back of the notebook cover. Um, and I will say, if you have smooth paper, this nib is actually pretty smooth. If you have paper that has some texture, this, this fine nib actually has quite a bit of feedback. So I know these steel nibs, especially in medium and broad, the broads are super, super smooth, which makes for a very, I'm sorry, I should zoom out a little bit, which makes for a very pleasant writing experience. Um, let me get the camera out of the way. Sorry, the microphone out of the way. The wire, there we go. Um, but, but yeah, so it is definitely fine. Um, but it does have quite a bit of feedback. So that is really something to be prepared for. Um, always very careful, but you could squeeze out a little bit of line variation. Not a flex nib or anything, so it's completely at your own risk. As to reverse writing, you already have a very fine nib. This is not pleasant. It gets very scratchy, digs into the paper, and as you can see, runs dry. So, I wouldn't use it that way. Having said that, it's comfortable and it's kind of fun to use. So, let's talk about likes and dislikes. What do I like about the Hexo? Uh, there are a couple of things that I really like. I think it's a solid pen. It's nice, it's comfortable. I find it pleasant to hold. I find it pleasant to write with. It posts very securely. I love that mechanism they put in so that the facets line up because I'm dead serious now. People, people always say OCD, I'm OCD, this and that. Most likely you're not. You know that's actually a clinical diagnosis, right? So, so saying I am OCD about this is actually pretty insulting because you, you, you don't have that specific psychological disorder that is actually really debilitating. Anyway, sorry about that. That, that, that just came out. I will say, I also get bothered. That's all. I get bothered when facets don't line up. It just looks less visually appealing to me. In this pen, it's impossible. It simply will not cap without the facets aligning. It's not possible to make it cap. And that, I think, is an excellent design, especially in a pen of this price. You're not talking about a $500 pen. This is a pen that costs under 30 euros. And it does just that. I think that's wonderful. Good writer, Faber-Castell, Faber-Castell nibs. This fine nib, I will say, it really likes smooth paper, on paper with more texture. It definitely has a lot of feedback. Is it scratchy? A little bit. I find it a little bit unpleasant in, in writing on paper with, with texture. On very smooth paper, coated paper, absolutely wonderfully lovely. No issue. Uh, nib range, very nice. Extra fine, fine, medium, broad. We live in an era where a lot of pens, especially at this price range, are medium or fine, or maybe medium or fine, but that's it. That you have a broad and an extra fine option, I think, uh, speaks volumes as to the number of options that you have. That was an excessively dramatic way to put that. Anyway, I, I, I do apologize. Moving on. Um, very stiff clip is something I'm looking down because um, that's where I have my notes. Uh, very stiff clip. It works, but it's very stiff, so be a little bit careful with pockets. Uh, and um, as I said, the nib is definitely scratchy. Un unless you have really smooth paper, then it's fine. But on paper with a bit more uh, texture, definitely feedback to the point of scratchiness. And that's the fine nib. The broad nibs, the same broad, because I, I think they're basically all the same nibs with those with the little dots in them. The medium nibs are great, the broad nibs exceptional. If you ever have a chance to try 
Afava Castell steel broadener, buy it. You will not regret it. I guarantee you that. I've used the number, all of them were exceptional. So anyway, that's it for this pen. Yoast, very kind, thank you for sending me the pen. Remember the 10% discount through Apple Bowl, uh, through my website banner. And that's it. I hope this was useful. I'll gladly see you later. Bye!